be here. Did you recognize me? Let go of me! <laughs> Turn around. I'll lose interest when I look at your face. It hurts. Stop talking. If you keep talking, we can't get the baby plan rolling. Uh, Wing Queen, you jerk. Just a touch of Snow Ludus made me lose control. She doesn't have a scar. How could she be little fool? I must be out of my mind. Mr. Quinn, here are the things you sent me to buy. Ladies clothing and morning after pills. The clothes are hanging on the doorknob. Take the morning after pill. I've put forty thousand dollars in this car. Not enough. What do you take me for? Aren't you the escort Zane Queen called in? Wing Queen, you sure didn't recognize me. Mister, you've got it wrong. I'm not a call girl. I'm here to enjoy your service. What did you say? You are kind of good looking, but you're kind of sucking bad. Sorry, thumbs down for me. You know, I was going to pay you seventy dollars, but you were short on finance with pity strength, so you can only get half. What you queen, jerk! What is Angel Auntie doing here in the hotel? Lucky she didn't see me, or I would have been taken back again. Prina, why are you out here? Weren't you just inside? Look, Prina, I've got twenty copies of the written sutra ready for you in the left drawer of your desk. I've just come back. Why am I being punished by Daddy? He already knew that I stank out, but luckily, so he couldn't go all prepared. Thank you, Uncle Queen. Don't get too emotional. Go back and rest now. Who do this? Where's the Ding Queen? Mr. Zane went out for a drink. <sighs> He's been beaten up like that and still in the mood. Mr. Zane said he had head injury that affected his appearance. It's not appropriate to meet with Miss Shane. Meet with Miss Shane? Yes. Just now, the hotel receptionist said that Miss Yvonne Shane had taken Mr. Zane's room card and came up to see him. Could that woman have been Yvonne Shane, the one marrying Zane Queen? Ethan, when did you get out? Where's my mommy? She's not back yet. <sighs> Luckily, I escaped from Demo King. Ethan, did I wake you up? No, I've been waiting for you, mommy. Hmm. Who are you? Get out! I'm your dad. 
Young Master, when you were born, we all thought you had frozen to death. Mr. Queen wouldn't give up. He held you, frostbitten against his chest for a day and a night before he showed any sign of recovery. Mommy, you told me before that my daddy died a long time ago, and you scattered his ashes. Is that true? The man who said he was my daddy today looks too much like me. It's true. Your daddy's ashes were scattered by me. Mommy, don't they say that the recognition exists? Dad died so many years ago. Could he have recognition into someone else? Ethan, actually, there's something Mommy hasn't told you. Your daddy was reincarnated as whole man, that silly little dog in our backyard. Go ride Har Sutra twenty times in a room. Whole man in the backyard is much cuter. It's better if it's my daddy. Come on, go to sleep. You don't look good today. Go to sleep now. Ethan and Wen Queen look too much alike. Mustn't let them see each other. Five years ago, Wen Queen kicked me out for Wen Yixiao. After a car accident, only Ethan survived. If he knew that Ethan was his son, he might do something bad to us again for the sake of Wen Yixiao. It's 7:20 already. Prina is getting out of this place. Prina's had a regular routine since he was a baby. He should have been tired from writing sutra last night. I'll go check. I feel awful. Help, Mr. Quinn. Prina's chill element has flared up again. What should we do? It's been three years since Prina had an attack of cold syndrome. Mr. Quinn, you already made an exception and took two pills of scorchy yesterday. If you keep taking it like this, your veins will burst. Save it, Prina, first. Mr. Quinn, if something happens to you, what's Prina going to do? Is Justin Hunt back? Not yet. Professor Hunt's seminar will last for two months. All right. Professor Hunt said the Timu Hot Spring of the Shin family could help relieve Prina's condition. Prepared. Timu Mount. On it. Prina, I won't let anything happen to you. Mr. Queen, the Timu Mountain is a private property of the Shin family, and hot springs are used by the Shin family to produce medicines. Only a Shin is allowed to use the hot springs. The engagement between the Shin and the Shin family just for the hot springs and Timu Mountain. I didn't expect this before the engagement was finalized. Mr. Quinn, the Shin family's bodyguards are here. Should we talk to the Shin family first? Here is a private property. No entry for everyone. No time. Breaking. Go. Drink a lot of water and bloom a lot of flowers. Eat these flowers, and we'll well be cured. You crushed my flowers. The snow lotus did not come. Grandma transplanted to simplify making my medicine. Why do they have it here? Mr. Chen, you won't believe it. Mr. Queen broke into a villa with his men and injured many of the bodyguards. Wen Queen, he's gone too far. Our family's engagement isn't final yet, and he dares come to my place to make a scene. Ethan, finish your meal. Mommy has to go out. Mommy, are you going to out to fight monsters? Mommy is going to scatter the bad guy's ashes, so he can't be reclaimed as human being. Come on, let's go get him. Come on, let's go. Mommy, you are so cool. I will be waiting for you. Scattering is so fun. I have to see it. The woman last night was really emotional. But why did she plant Little Fu's favorite snow lotus? Wen Queen, who are you? Wen Queen, are you a gangster? You broke in my property, injured my bodyguard, and trampled on my flowers. Have you no shame? Miss Shen, no offense, but it was urgent. I need your hot springs at Timo to cure my son's cold syndrome. Your son? You have a son? This must be the child of him and Wen Shan. About my son, I will say nothing, Miss Shen. Name your price. How much for letting me use your hot springs to treat my son? You, mommy, I'll help you. Scattered his ashes 